We had a windstorm, blocked my trail. Recoil starter isn't engaging. Hopefully it's just filled with snow. I've been meaning to put it in a bag and tie it onto the back of the machine or get one of them chainsaw tubs or tubes or carrying case, whatever. You I just haven't. Eventually, I'd like a big box on the back of this thing that I can carry that saw inside of. Took my wife on a date. We're out here ice fishing. A little stock pond. We've each hooked fish. Already having a good time. Got a little heater going. My wife has a propensity to outfish me. I caught six fish. Kept one. She's caught one fish. Guess which one? I was trying to take video of the fish swimming around and hooked one. Seriously? Yeah. Do I need the phone? Yeah. Really? Are you, are there more? I don't know. Do not, you drop your phone in there and I got nothing on it. Yeah, I don't see any more swimming by the head. Hmm. You scared him off. I think she's dredging from the bottom. Yeah, a little propane heater ain't big enough. I'm gonna have to get a bigger one. Or maybe figure out how to put uh, a wood stove through one of the doors and I could use it for camping moose hunting. Moose spent some time rubbing his antlers here. Stupid little hill rolled this giant ass pig over on its side. Almost couldn't get the damn thing upright. It's time for snowshoes. I should have brought them to date. That's a full length east wing axe. The snow is legitimately knee deep. And I'm having to break fresh trail. Trail I ain't seen in two years. Having trouble keeping track of it. Having to get off and walk. Make sure I know where I am. That pig floats all right for what it is, but uh, still struggling with siding, side hilling when the throttle is downhill. Probably gonna order the auxiliary throttle this week and try to have it on freaking soon. Damn procrastinator that I am. Got hung up on a stump under the snow. Every now and then, he just come across the circumstances of little windy hill here couldn't pull the sled up tried and tried and tried and tried and eventually I figured out that I was losing traction on a snag a tree a dead tree that had fallen crossed my trail diagonally chopped it out of the ground climbed right up there Got a lynx cubby right there. It's an intersection, my trail comes that way. And the trail crosses here, I used to go out that way, but I haven't yet. Piece of moose, piece of stank, piece of moose hide, and a piece of stank. And a trap guarding the gate. Got my first links of the season. My first links. Them salmon we had got the other day. I meant to just brine them for 12 hours. They brine for 36. In uh, salt water with brown sugar and some soy sauce. Tastes pretty good. You can see that bone peeled right out of there. And grouse breasts. Some of them are the light meat grouse, like sharp tail or something. They weren't roughed. And then a couple of dark meat that I know is a spruce grouse. It's pretty tasty so far. Still tastes a little bit like mud, but it's pretty good. This Thompson Museum, it's almost a slice of home. They 
Got a fishing rack, a simulated fishing rack, a simulated smokehouse. It's a cool old gold shaker box. I've got a canvas tent and I use a stove just like that one. It works very well. Ye old cabin. I stay, I spend a lot of time, well, not as much as I'd like in these, in these kinds of cabins in the winter or summer, excuse me. This is what we call a latuchak back home. It's a vestibule where we keep our freezer and winter boots and fishing poles and stuff. Cool old wooden boat. washboard and squeegee. Fish trap. 